Well, we start off by Benin's uh, parliament is expected to table a draft constitutional reform in days to come. However, debate now revolves around how the public will get access to the document as it has been announced, but no one has put their hands on that document in some parts of the country. Now, the amendment of the 1990 constitution is expected to make some changes within the executive, including extending the presidential term limit to six years, which according to the country's president will foster peace and security while ensuring a constant change of guard every election year. Now, local media reports within the country also indicated Benin's Minister of State, Pascal Kupaki, said the amendment neither entails the establishment of a new constitution, nor will it lead to the implementation of a new republic. According to some local media, one of the major sources of concerns for the Beninese people lies in Article 155 of the Constitution, which stipulates that the revision can only be done after being approved by a referendum, unless the project or the proposal in question has been approved by the four-fifth majority of the 83 members of Parliament. It would no longer be necessary to question the people with a referendum. However, during this campaign and even during his campaign and even his election, President Patrice Talon made a commitment to consult the people before the revision of the Constitution. We try to find out about the situation on the ground in Benin with Maurice Mahounon, a political anal analyst in Cotonou, Benin. Hello, Mr. Maurice. It seems that it's no longer a matter of time before the draft constitution is submitted to the National Assembly and it's drifting the opposition. Why is it being contested? No, contesté a priori, no. In principle, it's not being disputed. It is not disputed because it has a certain unanimity, unanimity on the opportunity to review the Beninese constitution. On that, I believe that very few people object. It should be known that after a constitution adopted since 1990, it's been more than 27 years. The Beninese population in its vast majority would agree that this constitution needs to be revised. But what's causing the controversy today is the procedure, the approach, because some feel that there would have been debates, the points of view would have been popularized, uh, discussed. The government believes that this has been done and that if the project goes to the National Assembly, the debates will also be done there. And some, some say the information is still not very clear concerning the documents. Pour le moment, effectivement, on, on ne sait pas encore les différents points qui feront l'objet de, de révision. C'est vrai que des For now, we actually don't know the different points which will be subject of review, to review. It is true that informally we are talking about it. We are very much evaluating, but formally there has been no precise communication. It has not been officially said that, look, these are the different points, these are what will be revised. No one has the text. The project has not been made clear and accessible to all. For example, during a press briefing for, from the Council of Ministers, the Minister of State just gave a hint but did not give all the details. He said that there would be a restoration of the even distribution of powers and also a certain form of economic and political transparency and more responsibility at the government level, which has made some Beninese say that it is a review of this lie on the unique mandate. For example, some say it's six years, others five years. So it goes to all directions. We have a vague idea. So when the text will be submitted in parliament, we will have a clear, we will have an idea of the issues. A last question, Mr. Dr. Morris. When, when, when he was praising the draft constitution, President Talon raised the issue of a referendum, but it seems he has pulled away from the issue. Do you think the referendum will convince his critiques who were against changing the constitution accept it better? 
vous savez, pour un piège comme ça, qui a fait l'objet quand même de consensus. You know, this is not surprising for a text like that, which has been the subject of consensus. You know the conditions in which the constitution was adopted. It was in terms of a national conference which had brought together all socio-political institutions of the country, the vital forces of the nation. Submitting to a referendum could allow it to have more legitimacy, but it must specify that the approach taken by the government is in conformity with the law, so that it does not violate the texts. Once the draft is submitted to the National Assembly, the members of parliament will examine it. If this time the text does not get the necessary number of votes to adopt it, it will be submitted to a referendum. We are therefore waiting for the parliamentarians to focus on this. Everything will be done in parliament. The members of parliament are the ones who will decide if they want to continue with the procedure until the referendum or not.